After opening the video converter, this is what it will look like. Now, before I begin, if you would like to change the language, you can do this by clicking on settings and from there select language and simply choose your preferred language from the selection. Okay, back to exploring. So right off the bat, you will notice this big window with a plus icon. To get started on your project, you can drag and drop your media files right here. Or to find your files on your computer, just click on the plus icon. Once you have added a media file, this is how it will look. If you have more to add, come up here and select add media, or simply drag and drop your next file below like this. Okay, so now with your media files brought in, you basically have three options. You can preview your file, you can do some light editing, or if you prefer, skip all that and begin converting immediately. To preview your file anytime, just click the play button located here on the file thumbnail. After clicking, your file will open and begin playing immediately. Now, if you are previewing your media file after completing some edits, try this before and after feature down here. It lets you quickly compare your original file to your edited file by flipping back and forth between them. If at any point you want to save a snapshot from your video, just click the camera icon over here. This preview option is a really convenient way to review and decide if your media file needs any last minute edits. If you decide edits are needed, then click the edit icon to the right to open the editing window. Before opening this, let's jump back to the main video converter screen to see how to get to the editor. Now that we're back on the main screen, to access the editing tools from here, simply click on the little edit icon on the very right side of your media file. After clicking, the editing screen will open. This editor conveniently displays several organized editing tabs laid out nicely up top. Let's take a quick look at these editing tools so you know what to expect. The audio tab lets you increase or decrease volume. As well, you have the option to normalize volume and even select a setting for noise removal. Nice. Next, adjustments. This is where you'll find basic color correction adjustments as well as a few auto correction options that are pretty convenient. Moving on, we have the effects tab. This will provide you with a small selection of visual effects that you can add to your video or photo. Next, if you have subtitles that you would like to add, do that here in the subtitles tab. If you need a watermark, by clicking the watermark tab, you can overlay image or text and even adjust the transparency. The crop tab allows you to crop, rotate, and flip, also giving you a quick selection of common aspect ratios that is pretty handy. And last, the trim tab lets you cut portions of your video clip. Now that we've went over the editing options available, the only thing left to do is convert the file format. Now when you're ready to convert files, be sure to check the box next to the files that you wish to convert. Next, review the output file name right here. If you want to change the file name, select the little writing utensil icon and rename it. Then proceed by choosing your preferred output format from the well-organized selections below. There's even a tab for popular format types. If you're converting your file from a device that you have on hand, just plug it into your computer and use the Find Device feature. This intuitive feature will attempt to identify the most suitable format for your device. If you're still not sure of the correct format, try the search bar. It may have just the answer you're looking for. One last thing worth noting is that this converter comes with a great deal of helpful content under the Settings tab. Here you'll find things like a user manual, a link to frequently asked questions, customer support, and even Movavi Social, which has links to their Facebook, Instagram, and more. Now, once you've picked an output file format, be sure to select where you want your files saved and whether or not you want the files merged. Finally, click Convert and you're done. Thanks for watching.